Good evening, Alex. Good evening, Martin. Welcome to episode number six. That's amazing. It is. Time flying. Wow. And it's going really good, and we're really happy to be doing this show, actually. And uh, it's been some really fun response from around the world, from a lot of different people. And uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for the support so far. Um, today's show is a very, very interesting show. We have uh, Martin Zimmerman visiting. Special guests, Beat Bizarre. Beat Bizarre. Uh, we played his uh, classic track, Hello Grabber. No, sorry, <laughs> Brain Drain it was. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. That was really good. Brain Drain it was. Um, In the last show. Yeah. Actually, some cool response on that as well. This is Big Svensson with his track called Skywalker and it will be out on Iboga Records the 23rd of November. So here we have a style from Lesse, which isn't something that you will recognize in his music. It's, um, yeah, tell me about it. How, how did it come to be? You, you, you have some insight in it. Yeah, I was sitting in Lesse's old studio uh, back in March, I think it was. And yeah. he wanted to do something new. He wanted to try something that he haven't been <laughs> uh, digging in before. And then this came out. It's more like uh, space disco style. Yeah, right. With elements from the 70s and 80s and just trying to... It's yeah. really, really like tied together in this theme. And an appropriate thing for the theme is also that it's visually represented strong like that. Yeah. And yeah, cover art by Mr. 
Anna's Aston Martin and Anna's you really captured the the moment here Nailed t it. take a look on uh, the cover art it's beautiful So if you're gonna categorize a track by genre, then you're gonna categorize this as space disco. <laughs> yeah. And he nailed it. He really did. I know that he's cooking on some um, Bones remix uh, EP. Yeah, we already played the the Bones remix once. That was in our first show. Uh, but some inf in inside info is that Zen Baboon or Zen Raccoon is um, remixing it as well. Plus a boy de Bajan. So it's going to be no way. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, that's going to be something to look out for. Actually, by both artists, definitely it's going to be exciting to hear it. And also, Les's uh, remix turned out to be a real charm as well. We've been doing the last uh, the mastering together actually on this track. Really tied it up good, and he told me a lot of interesting stuff about the development of the track and and of yeah how it all came to be. But uh, I think we're going to have to ask himself one day, huh? We promised you we will be in the studio. We haven't arranged the date yet, but I guess it's a new near future, huh? Can't wait <laughs> to have him in the studio. It's gonna be cool. Me neither. Me neither. This is um, Bass Benson with the track Skywalker. Yeah. Which is coming out soon. And Space Disco, ladies Space and gentlemen. Space Disco. And from, from space into the desert. Yeah. The next track we're going to be playing for you is a track by one of my favorite artists, actually. Um, none other than Antics. Antics. This track is just being released at on the deviation, Glenn C. Geist compilation yeah. just came out and having a massive feedback on it. Uh, yeah, for being for being such a diverse kind of compilation. I mean, you have tracks ranging in all sorts of different genres and styles, and it's all tied together quite elegantly by Mr. Glenn C. Geist. So it is.
Here he comes. Here Mr. he comes. Mr. The man of the hour. <laughs> Beat Pizza. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So how are you doing? <laughs> <Just> throwing, <laughs> throwing his jacket. <laughs> Asking, uh, I'll ask you the same yeah, thing. How headphones. Doing? Yeah. There you go. And now I can hear what everybody's saying. How's it going? Ah, not too bad. Thank What's you. What's cooking? What's cooking? Oh, we're, uh, cooking? Uh, right now we're, we're playing some antics. You know antics, right? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Good friends. Yeah. I uh, knew them from way back. Um, uh, we used to uh, play together back in the time. You know, uh, we had some. Pretty funny uh, gigs together. Uh, <sighs> I remember one time uh, we were playing uh, on a mountain top in uh, Japan, and uh, is that Mount Fuji? Uh, no, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember the name. It was something Japanese? <laughs> no, but uh, this was uh, one of the most amazing places. Uh, I've played. Uh, it was just before the second uh, uh, album from Bibisar was released, Pandora's Group Box, and um, we were kind of presenting the music there, and uh, yeah, we had some good times. We also played in uh, sure, Tokyo, sure. Tokyo and Osaka at that okay. point. So. Do you remember what the, the Ancestors guys were playing back then? Like, uh, it must have been what kind of... Uh, I remember that uh, we were very inspired by their music, yeah. and uh, uh, I still am, you know. Uh, and it, it's but they, they were like some of the, the, the first guys uh, from your Bogo who started to like lower the tempo a bit as well, and, yes. and start to get a little bit more housey, yes. sort of. They yeah. uh, always followed the, uh, the heart, you know, yeah. and uh, I really admire that. So. Yeah, same here, yeah. same here, yeah. they're legends for me as well. Yeah, definitely.
groovy. Very, very groovy track. Um, yeah, so what, what are we going to listen to now? It's uh, your first pick of the day. Yeah, th this is one of my new tracks. Uh, it's a uh, uh, slower, slower one, 120 BPM. Um, it's uh, previously unreleased and uh, it's been laying there for a while. Uh, it's uh, kind of uh, builds up, uh, but I think most of my my tracks today it does you know uh, yeah so um, yeah you're into the habit of doing like uh, some some longer kind of tracks as well uh, always you like uh, the hypnotic stuff going on <laughs> I, I like uh, I don't know uh, it, it really depends on the track but but for sure if I feel like it uh, I like long intros I, I like to present the music uh, not just like Here's the suddenly, kick. Here's suddenly, the kick. Uh, you yeah. can mix it in now. It's it's uh, really not uh, for the DJs that I make the music. Uh, it's more like uh, if you can listen to it at home uh, on your speakers, uh, it gives me, you know, a, a personal more satisfaction than just you know, full on here now. So. It's very interesting because I mean a lot of DJs out there, there are and artists would, you know, produce the music, maybe get the idea for the home, but then they would sort of remake it a little bit for the. For the clubs and you know make it easier for them to play but there's a there's a certain kind of um, level of, of detail to keeping this the original vibe or i, I understand and, and yeah. i i see the benefits of, of doing that yeah if you want your music to be played yeah uh, in a club but <clears throat> For me, yeah, I think it's it's more about the listener, and and uh, definitely also for for myself. You know, if if I'm not satisfied, satisfied, you know, it has yeah. to be redone. And um, yeah, I, I mean, long tracks are not bad. Uh, maybe no. you, maybe you don't hear uh, the 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 whole thing uh, at a party, uh, but but still, I mean, this is uh, important for me to. If you have something on your heart, then you need more time. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's trance. It's, I mean, it, exactly, it, it, it is. is. That's, I, that's I, I have to build up. We're uh, aiming uh, for it. I mean, and, and there's so much music today which is just you know like uh, fast deliveries, and you know there's a break and then a fast detail, change the kick and bass, and and for me also I've started to notice um, that you're just losing the identity a little bit. Like, why just have a, not just have a strong core? It's it's not always important that you know what's going to happen next. It's important that it's gonna build up and you're gonna be surprised in the music. Yeah. Surprises. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Martin um, talking about Pandora's box. Screw box. Screw box. Pandora's screw box. <laughs> Many people uh, know that BP Star started with two people. We, you, were, we you, were a duo. You, in the you, beginning. you and Rene. Yes. What happened? Because <laughs> you, you split up in around around 2007. Yes. As I remember. Yes. Yeah. Well, what happened? Uh, it, it, me and René always had a really good friendship also before we started making music together. And um, it was a pretty intense time, I can honestly say. Making, uh, especially the first album, uh, we were rookies and we we're coming up and uh, we really didn't know how to react at all this. Uh, uh, shit that was happening <laughs> around us and um, in the end it, uh, it it got into like a marriage situation and uh, not a good one uh, so um, for our friendship's sake we decided that it might be better not to uh, make music together anymore and uh, René had his uh, new project going on with the uh, panel uh, behind blue eyes uh, and uh, he didn't mind that I was just continuing beat bizarre so this was actually the best way of uh, of being uh, <laughs> being French still you know uh, it was too intense I think but that's a beautiful story keeping the friendship <laughs> friendship tied and then uh, maybe leaving I mean it, it would have been nice to yeah. be able to continue the project but but I think that I mean you, you have to be sort of unanimous in the direction where you're taking the project otherwise I mean it's gonna be really tough you can't just one guy say I want to be doing like more housey kind of stuff when somebody else wants to take the BPM up or you know you have to compromise exactly and, yeah. it's not that they we, we, we didn't really yeah, that's you're, not you're, true. We, 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 we did disagree on the music, yeah. but in the end, what came out of it, we were both happy for. Yeah. Uh, but it was the struggle getting there okay. uh, that was not uh, really nice for any of it. It was just... Yeah. Pfft, was too, too feel, much of it. Uh, yeah. yeah, so... All right. I mean, uh, I, we're, we're both happy now. We're good friends, so... Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's good to hear. Really nice, hypnotic, and deep, groovy track. We You've, dig it. Yeah, Thank totally you. Digging dig, it. dig it. Dig it. Great start for the show. Yeah. Uh, you you brought a, a second track. Uh, well. Yes, uh, the second track is uh, more recent, uh, and um, I think this uh, pretty much tells where I am uh, in the music right now. Okay. Uh, this is uh, starts uh, starts up. Uh, more minimal techno like mm -hmm. and in the middle turns very trancey uh, and uh, yeah it, it's quite long it's almost uh, 14 minutes but oh. i um i i really i don't, i tried to cut it down but i i thought this this was how it should be so Perfect. the the best thing is that we in the boga radio show have all the time we want. So. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's hear it all. Let's cool, watch the ball. Tyrant Christmas.
sort of inspires you to make this kind of music? Is it is? <laughs> uh, I often get that question, and uh, really, uh, for me, uh, everything inspires me. Um, it's not one type of music. It's not one type of feeling in the body. It's it's everything around me all the time. Uh, of course, uh, when you go to a party or you play at a party, you, uh, you discover new music and, and you dance and, and you, you get into the groove and, and you have this feeling afterwards. But really every day, just listening to the radio, just taking a ride in the car, the bike or, or whatever, I get inspired by almost everything around me. So. And but like artist-wise, is there anything that you... <laughs> Ma Ma Martin, what I know about you is that you're not making music for the people, you're making music for yourself. Yes, that, like that's, that. that's, that's true. I, it's, it's not, it's not <laughs> entirely true, because of course I want... Of course. I, I, li I like to, uh, to, to please people and, and I like to have good feedback on what I make. Everybody that's yeah. creative like, like this, but... In the studio, when I'm there, it's it's uh, it's not what's the first thing in my mind. Uh, for, sh for sure, uh, I like to make magic happen uh, for myself first. Hands up! <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful music. Uh, uh, thank you, guys. setting as a big question mark here. Martin, what does Tarantismus mean? Uh, Tarantism is uh, supposed to be uh, a state of mind or something that your body wants to react on when you're bitten by a certain Italian spider. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, uh, it, it, make, it makes you want to dance. It, it makes you want to dance. So I thought this was a great name for a track. Tarantism. <laughs> how did you in, La in Latin, Tarantismus. <laughs> but how how do you get from finding a track name to finding something so specific? Uh, that I don't even remember. But you know, uh, I, I I stumble over. You don't very, stumble very, very, over you Tarantismus, come yeah, on, man. Yeah, for sure, you, you stumble over very cool words yeah. once in a while. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the thing <laughs> is that I always write them down. Yeah. I, I sometimes cool. forget the meaning, yeah. but uh, yeah. then you have Wikipedia or <laughs> the internet. You know? I'm gonna it, look. Yeah, but I mean, I, I always write cool words down. And, yeah. and this one, I, actually, I forgot what what the meaning was until I looked it up again. So this uh, Italian spider if like you I'm uh, pretty sure it's an Italian uh, type of tarantella okay. or something like tarantula, this. But, yeah. but it makes you want to dance when you're bitten and this is amazing. I think we should just let them out on so the dance floor. Everybody, so everybody, yeah. Uh, yeah. Release it on the dance floor, yeah. but also in the groceries and uh, everywhere oh, yeah. around. On a bus, in a plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some seats and uh, yeah. release some uh, tarantulas and make people dance and fly away. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
this how our uh, tarantula sounds? <laughs> Probably, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you didn't, you didn't I, record I didn't, it. No. No, no. Field, re- field oh, recorder. I'm sorry. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Tarantula, it's your turn. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Don't be shy. Go. Don't be shy. Go, Tarantula. Go. Take go. your time. Just yeah. take Drink your time. the beer and make that noise. Yeah. We're dead. School. 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 the origin from uh, this, uh, this Beat Bizarre project like uh, and did you have any projects before that led up to this definitely, or definitely uh, since I recall uh, music has been on my life yeah ever since I discovered my uh, father's record collection and started listening to it uh, after a while it was in the headphones uh, I was driving my parents crazy and uh, then after a while again, I got my own stereo at my room. Uh, it's it's been my life. Music has just been my life all the time. Like I've, any I've other been, any other bands? Or I've something? been I've been playing various instruments and in various bands and uh, also releasing with, with them back in the days. But at some point, it was just uh, I thought it would would be nicer not to argue all the time about how uh, the, the sound should be because I had my own ideas yeah, yeah. and uh, making electronic music is a perfect thing because you <laughs> you are you and a computer so uh, <laughs> since I think the first version of uh, Cubase I've been I've been making music and you know developing my sound and stuff like this it, it was hard in the beginning but it's getting <laughs> much easier today Definitely, technology is a good thing for solo producers. Yeah. <laughs> gotta <laughs> definitely gotta admit it. So yeah, so th- we have a, a track now which has just started to play in the background. Yeah, this is a much uh, faster track. Uh, not inspired by Italian spiders. Not uh, not by spiders this time. Uh, I don't think we have to go into uh, what's inspired <laughs> the title. <laughs> but, uh, but this track was uh, I, I had uh, I had this. Or have uh, the side project called Martian, uh, yeah. which uh, started uh, almost at the same time as Beat Bizarre started. Uh, okay. Uh, I only had one and Martian, release. Martian is just you, or no, it's all it's, it's just me. Just it, it was my solo project when I when we started Beat Bizarre. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, I thought it could be fun to take it up again. You know, releasing more fast stuff. Uh, 
but in the end, uh, I just thought, no, it's, it's better to just release everything under one name. But, but anyway, this is um, this is uh, one of the tracks that I. It's, it's you played it at Booth, huh? Uh, no, oh, I, 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 uh, I. Yeah, it, it's true. Uh, at the Booth 2001, it was the 10th anniversary or something like this. Okay. Uh, uh, the opening track for the main stage was uh, a track I made, okay. and it was released on uh, a one-sided vinyl uh, at that time. Sweet. Uh, on Spirit Zone. Very, yeah, very nice. Yeah, on Spirit Zone. Yes. And Taro. Yeah. And Taro. Greetings to you, and Taro out there. And uh, I, I've, I've been trying to make more trancey fast music and uh, and I thought it could be cool one day maybe to release some more Martian but yeah it's <laughs> not yet <laughs> okay <laughs> The rumors are saying that this track is actually finalized for this show. It, it's, Am I right? It, it, uh, it's been laying there for quite a while, and uh, yes, I thought it would be nice to finish it for this show. For Here sure. we go. An exclusive track. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Thank you're you. welcome. And let's listen to these uh, these Martians. Feeling yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Martians. <laughs> sure also there's a bunch of uh, listeners out there who are interested in knowing what's what's the next step for uh, Pete Pissar what's gonna happen 
Yeah. Like you have any coming releases or any new? Uh, not in anything planned yet, but okay. uh, for sure. Uh, I think uh, I'm not gonna collect music for an album right now. Uh, in January, I released a 12. No, sorry. 20 track album and uh, that's gonna hold for oh. a little while but I'm gonna release a couple of singles and remixes possibly also or? also remixes uh, right now in the studio I'm working on a remix for the overlords uh, wow. the, the old track uh, yeah. organic organic <laughs> organic organic, organic. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, <laughs> I might have gone too far, uh, so maybe it's not really a remix anymore, but more a remake or a cover version. But yeah, yeah. anyway, uh, this is really uh, this is fun for me to make. Uh, I've been having a couple of musicians uh, playing acoustic instruments, and I'm gonna have a, a female singer doing the vocals, and we we'll see wow. where this goes. So on, um, yeah. Fantastic. Look out for it. Looking forward. Yeah. we just heard is being produced in maybe the coolest studio that I've ever been to. It's like, a, if I can describe it, it's a rooftop, but uh, triangle. Very, I, I have a beautiful, very nice studio. Yeah, yeah you have a very, with all the lightnings and you have these uh, LEDs, uh, what do you call them? Yeah, it's uh, the D tubes. Uh, my day job is uh, I'm working as a light engineer, so you know uh, this is uh, a huge part of my life. The, uh, everything has to look nice, and, and a good way to do it is with lightning, if you know what you're doing. So <laughs> yeah, definitely. and you certainly managed to. Ah, thank you, thank you. What you also managed to was to spend a weekend with uh, Mr. Flow Job. Definitely. <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna hear Flow Job. This track is called Fall from Space and it's out on Iboga Records now. <laughs> Thank you. 
wow. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Spot on, man. <laughs> what a track. High energy levels. Full Ob- job is Ob- back Ob- in business. He is. Yeah, and he, so mean, he really means it. He really means it. He means business. Yeah. It's so familiar. Like here we are, we are we're listening to uh, Joachim Flojob, and actually we're just one big family, one like big from Boga family from the from this, is, and many of us from the same neighborhood. We're so close to each other. It's so nearby, Martin. You live like uh, 150 meters from here, around, yes. You're, and, and Joachim the same. And, and uh, I just this just is like, like this is our hood. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It, this and what's so special about I- Iboga as well that uh, definitely. I mean, Iboga have had different addresses during the years, yeah, yeah. but uh, for me, it's it's always been close, nearby, and it's good friends. And we don't when we socialize, it's uh, seldom that we actually talk about Iboga stuff because we are good friends, and this is yeah. what it's all about. Uh, that. We we actually also business partners is yeah. <laughs> as a but it's just in the back in in, in some way huh? yeah, yeah. So, yeah of course yeah. but you uh, know yeah. it's been like this always so it's like who who brings the good alcohol it's like the the man of the hour if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and going back now we need to go back. <laughs> Now we need to go back. Is, oh, it's, yeah. it's that time of the of it's the show. That time of All the, the show. Way back. And, and, and and Daddy's not angry. Um, but um, but Daddy's a little disappointed. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed because we ask you people out there to uh, come with some inputs in our last show. If you had like just a good old oldie you wanted to hear, a classic Iboga track, but that didn't come so many on the. In the comment section, so we uh, we thought, what about asking uh, you, Martin, if you had an old Iboga classic that you wanted to hear, and you certainly did. I did, for sure. Uh, one of my biggest inspiration sources uh, have been and still are uh, one of my good old friends, uh, Jakob, uh, releasing on the name Luefax, and. Uh, he did an amazing track on the compilation uh, at the Botany, I think in 2001. Yeah. And uh, this track, uh, I I actually uh, named, uh, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, called. Uh, it's funny before you say it, before I say it, I, I'm gonna pronounce it as Etlerandet. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, but it means. In, 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 <laughs> no, and, and I've always been calling it like Edlerandet or something. Edlerandet, like, yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. Ah, that, uh, the, the true pronouncement is Edlerandet, <laughs> which means something. <laughs> and <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> Literally like the confused answer when you're giving someone like ah, yeah, something. Like. Martin, can I uh, can I give you this? It's a uh, vinyl from Sunkite, signed, signed. by oh, Sebastian man, and August. Perfect. You go, oh, please, man. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> so somebody uh, out there missed out. Uh, you all you gotta do is go to the comment section and you gotta write down. You guys, this. This is truly a perfect gift. Thank you so much. Remind you of, like, what do you uh, what do you feel when you hear this kind of music? Well, uh, and why why this? I mean, apart from the fact that it was a friend, I mean, where did you hear it? Did you hear it from him first, or did you hear it in a club? Or no, I, I mean, the style for sure was in a club. Uh, but me and Jakob always exchanged musical ideas and stuff like this. Uh, but I mean. Back in the days, it, it wasn't departed in in different type of uh, groups. Who who's listening to what and when and where? It was more like if there's a beat playing, everybody is showing, and uh, yeah. this this was uh, the the connection of everybody. I think uh, back in the days. Now it's more like uh, if if. If it's not the right baseline, people are not showing for the party and stuff like this, and it's it's really divided, much uh, more divided in, in genre. Yeah, yeah. and and, and uh, uh, I understand why, and, and this is also why you have different stages, but people are still not grouping up. Uh, I I think I, I don't know. Not like, uh, but but not it's like, it's like uh, yeah. uh, 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 twenty years ago, you had one dance floor. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And everybody was dancing their asses off, and uh, it was a fucking blast. It's it's not the same feeling I I have today when I go to a party. Uh, it, it's really I don't, I don't like this type of music, you know. No, but the and that's that's quite an important thing to talk about as well because it, you you really I mean that's what's happening to the scene right now. Why it became. So, uh, so many of the artists who are, are doing their own kind of, or the same kind of sound, 
is because in a way that people are getting, I guess, a little bit lazy. I think I briefed, briefly talked about, you know, that you're so used to using Beatport now and just, you know, going in and checking the top 10 and not really diving in there and really foraging around and trying to find something unique to you. And back in the day, well, maybe there wasn't so much to choose from at the same time. I'm, I'm not sure. No, that, of course there wasn't. But then again, I, but you were still, still, you were still, still. I mean, I mean, it's, it's. You were still also, it's, it. it's your choice. You know. Yeah. Are, are you are you going for the party? Or are you going for the music uh, that that also is uh, yeah. uh, it's listenable? Yeah. When you're just sitting at home, you know, with your headphones on or whatever. Yeah. Uh, because it is two different types of making music and listening to it uh, for sure uh, yeah. but still uh, all the genres uh, ha have confused even me because I can't sign uh, uh, my name on any one of them I, I, I just I, I do whatever I like and uh, if people <laughs> like ask me what, 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 <laughs> what type of music are you making and the, the, the easy way out is saying uh, I'm making electronic dance music but that's even worse yeah, you know yeah. so uh, <laughs> what the there. fuck you know yeah. uh, but it does bring us back to those old sharing vibes yeah. you know everybody was one love back then and that's I gotta say, there's still parties out there that have that vibe, and, and God, know, God bless I those sure. organizers. Yeah. Hey, suddenly we sound so fucking old. I'm not old. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, not I yet. I'll tell you back in the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool track. I'll always be younger than you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Depends on who dies first. <laughs> 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 Bitten by the Italian <laughs> spider. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so Martin has just left us temporarily, um, but he'll be back. He will be back. And uh, in the meantime, we have lined up the final track of our sixth episode. Yeah. And ah, uh, and he's back again. There he is. Back okay. again. Welcome. Here I am. Thank you. Here you are. <laughs> Uh, the last track we're going to play for you today is a track by Tycon, Tycon. called 1987. It but is. it's not the original. It's no, it's a Trip Switch remix that came out on the Tycon remixed album uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, it was re-released again on Tupilac. Yeah. 
and uh, I just love this track because I think it's very beautiful <laughs> and having a lot of beautiful elements from the electronica scene. It is. You, you, I don't you, know if I, sh I should. Uh, you dropped your purse. You yeah, dropped I, just, your purse. <laughs> I just did. I just did. Sorry. I became very bros. Yeah. No. no this is a very. Not, yeah, it's the, it's just a, a the melody, the atmosphere, beat. Nick uh, managed to catch this whole um, <sighs> story. Yeah, story. Let's go back to 1987. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we end the, we we end the end of the show, but we are having fun. It's great times. Martin Silman, aka Pipiza, thank you for joining in. Please. Thank you for having me. Was my pleasure. Yeah, come again, come again, please. Let yeah. And uh, if any about anybody of you out there have uh, a suggestion for a classic Iboga track, put don't it. Don't hesitate come to comment. No. Yeah, You're gonna no get pleasure. a copy of, of Prisma yeah. signed copy. There's only a limited amount of these out there. Yeah. Um, and if you're interested in in connecting a little bit with the, the Beat Bizarre project, then you well, where where can we find you? Oh, Facebook and SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and definitely, all those uh, regular places. Platforms, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. There is definitely uh, new sounds coming again from Beat Bizarre. Hopefully and how soon. lovely is it to have a man standing strong, doing what he loves to do, Thank without you. That's such a ho ho holding his sound. Huh? You really managed to. You guys to are romancing so bad right now. Come no. on. No. But we, we're good old friends. We're, you, yeah. you can join in any time, Martin. You know, how long time you guys go back? Huh? How long time have you guys known each other? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> 2000 and uh, I don't 2000 know. something. Yeah. Who knows? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> rock on, it's been, rock it's on. Been, uh, it's been really nice being here, guys. And uh, I enjoy your company. And. Uh, Definitely. And really exciting to hear your new stuff as yes. well. Um, and, and personally, I must admit, I'm a fan of the slower music. Keep going strong with that. It's it's going to bring you places for sure. There's going to be a lot of response, I'm guessing, from this. So I'm hoping. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah. Cool. cool. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Tune out in a few minutes. <laughs> We're your hosts, Alexander Decroix and Martin Weiss. Bye bye, guys. Bye.